Hey guys, John the Realtor here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this playlist. This particular playlist is going to be the RPA, Residential Purchase Agreement, and the disclosures around it, okay? Um, we're going to do this in series and in parts. We're going to go generally one page at a time because there's a lot of information. Um, if you would like to know how I logged in and how I started a new transaction and I got to this point, please let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to make a video for you on that. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and get started with the disclosure regarding real estate agency relationships. So this disclosure is regarding your relationship as a seller's agent or a buyer's agent to that seller, that buyer, or both, because we can represent both the buyer and the seller, okay? So it starts out by letting you know that this is in connection with a transaction uh, for a leasehold interest. If it is, you can check mark the box. Um, and it says here, when you enter into a discussion with a real estate agent regarding a real estate transaction, you should form the outset understanding of what type of agency relationship or representation you wish to have with the agent in the transaction. When you enter into a discussion with a real estate agent regarding a transaction. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you meet somebody and they're already in contract with another agent, you cannot discuss real estate with them. Um, if they canceled their contract with that agent or the listing, you can, now you can actually discuss real estate, their home, all of that with the, with the client. You gotta be real careful about that because if you talk to a seller or a buyer about their a transaction or purchasing a home or selling a home and they're in contract with an agent, you can get in trouble for that. So um, this basically just talks about that as a seller's agent under a listing agreement with the seller, acts as the agent for the seller only. A seller's agent or sub-agent of that agent has the following affirmative obligations. To the seller, a fiduciary duty, now also to the buyer, um, of the utmost care, integrity, honesty, and loyalty in dealings with the seller. Um, to the buyer and the seller, diligent exercise of reasonable skill and care and performance of the agent's duties, a duty of honest and fair dealings in good faith, and a duty to disclose all facts known to the agent materially affecting the value or desirability of the property that are not known to or within the diligent attention and observation of the parties. This is for the seller specifically. Now on the buyer side, a duty to disclose all facts known to the agent materially affecting the desirability of the property, not also known or within diligent attention and observation of the parties, an agent is not obligated to reveal to either party any confidential information obtained from the other party that does not involve the affirmative duties set forth above. So for the buyer and the seller, it is the exact same thing. Um, agent representing both the buyer and the seller, you have a fiduciary responsibility of the utmost care for both parties. Now you have to be real careful with this because other duties to the seller and the buyer as stated above um, in their respective sections. So in representing both the seller and the buyer, a dual agent may not, without the express permission of the respective party disclosed to the other party, confidential information including but not limited to facts relating to either the buyer or seller's financial position, uh, motivations, bargaining position, and other personal information. So guys, if your buyer or your seller is okay with disclosing, let's say the offers you have on the table, or the buyer says, yeah, I don't mind if you tell them, you know, I have 300 grand in the bank, you're fine with that. If they say, I don't want you to say anything about my financial situation, you cannot say that. Now, I strongly advise that for either permission or not permission, I would get it in writing in an email. Get written consent or a written confidentiality email stating I do not want you to or I'm okay with because if you don't and you do or don't and you assume you could get in trouble there but definitely consult with Car Legal because we pay for that service you contact them and they will actually advise you on any um, uh, situation that you have or any legal question they will advise you I'm not an attorney so I cannot advise you on it but I definitely will tell you to keep everything in writing in an email because you don't want someone to come back later and say, well, wait a minute, you said that you weren't gonna say anything and you said something, so just be real careful, okay? 
Seller and buyer's responsibilities. So either the purchase agreement or, or a separate document will contain a con confirmation of which agent is representing you. That'll I'll show you guys that later. The above duties of the agent in a real estate transaction do not relieve a seller or buyer from the responsibility to protect his or her own interests. So you should carefully read all agreements. So this is basically telling the buyer or the seller, look, your responsibility is to make sure you know everything in, a trend, in, in the contract, read your disclosures, read your contract, make sure you understand what you're, what you're getting yourself into, um, and then move forward and go ahead and do your thing. So if you have any legal question on this, definitely, and it's pretty straightforward, but if you have any legal question, definitely consult with Car Legal. Guys, this was part one of a very long series that I'm glad to make for everybody on the RPA. Uh, if you have any questions specifically on this document, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. The more likes you get, the more this information will spread and help everybody out. Um, hope to see you guys on part two, which will be, let's take a look together, Fair Housing and Discrimination Advisory. That's a really important one, so I look forward to seeing you guys there. I will talk to you soon, and have a great day.